by the salmon fish and come you by the ropery. Saw you, my dear sailor laddie, sailing on the raging sea. I come by the salmon fish and I come by the ropery. I saw your dear sailor laddie, sailing on the deep blue sea. Come you by the salmon fish and come you by the ropery. Jangles up the salmon bothy every Friday virtually. The Newlands and Queens, boys and girls, hope you're ready and fine. Uh, and looking forward to another night at the salmon bothy. We do kind of get together to eat properly, but never mind. You're stuck with our alone. Regaling for his, um, for his studio here in Fight Hills. Looking down onto the water and just doing the side of my hair. And the waves are quite high, the new. We've had snow the day, we've had just a bit of thing, as we record. So, But anyway, um, I was going to sing a wee song myself just to start off, start off the evening. And it's a, quite an appropriate song, I think. It's the start of the uh, springtime for the travelling folk is getting the road. And it's a great Adam McNaughton song, The Yellow and the Broom. So you're, you're lucky in the chorus and that. So sing your hair suit. And here we go. The Yalla and the Broom. And I recorded it last year, so it's hence of a bonnet on there, but then I get it on the next. So enjoy it, and we'll see you in a minute. No, no, Adi. Who you are in the day? I think this is week, whatever it is, the lockdown. I'm going to lose in track of the days now, but never mind. It's this time of year to travel in Fauci's when I think to the road. So I just thought I'd give you a wee rendition of the Yalla and the Broom. You are in the chorus. You've heard it often enough, so here we go. I can ye and I like it last the winter here in tune. For the scaldies they must cry us and they try to put us down. But it's hard to raise three bernies in a single flea box room. But I'll tuck ye on the road again. Then the yellows on the broom. Then the yellows on the broom. When the yellows on the broom, I'll tuck ye on the road again. When the yellows on the broom, do the scaldies cry a stinker dirt in sconce where burns its squeal? Far cares for the scaldy thinks a scaldies but a feel, for they've never heard the yarlin song. Nor seen the flax in bloom, for they're all cooped up in houses. I find yellows on the broom, find the yellows on the broom, find the yellows on the broom. I they're all cooped up in houses, find the yellows on the broom. Ne sail for pegs or baskets new, and just to stay alive. We have to work at scaldy jobs by nine o'clock till five. But we can't man or mister for we in the world ruin, and we'll say farewell to Brechin, when the yellows on the broom. Fin the yellows on the broom, fin the yellows on the broom, I will say farewell to Brechin, fin the yellows on the broom. Do we longing for the springtime fin, we talk the rodents mare, to the plantain and the perlin and the berry fields a blair. And we'll meet up we work in folk high, for ah the country run, when they gone about folk duck the road, when the yellows on the broom, when the yellows on the broom, when the yellows on the broom, when they gone about folk duck the road. Fin the yellows on the broom, fin the yellows on the broom, fin the yellows on the broom, 
I'll tuck you on the road again, when the all has on the broom. There you go, that's the all in the broom. And just let you in, the hair's coming in now. And then after three weeks, it'll be back to far it was. Keep safe, Abdi. Cheerio. New folks, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, my first choice tonight is for um, the great Danny Cooper. Great supporter of our club and a great stalwart. So here we go. This is uh, Danny Cooper. He came as far he's gone. I wish the heck I did. Take it away, Danny. And Danny, off a pint to hear you again. I hope you're keeping fine, Maloon, and we'll see you along. So, our, uh, our third song of the night is uh, for the Great Spears family, the Crudy Direction, and um, they're going to be singing a war with their healing soldier. So, here we go Tom, Maggie, and Emma, the Spears family. This song is called A War with a Healing Soldier, and it's about a girl following her true love as he goes off to battle.
too, folks. That was off a fine indeed. I great to hear them all singing together. It's just such a harmonious trio. It's just it's off a fine. It just does your heart good. So thank you very much, folks. And now um, to finish off our uh, first half, we've got an extended set by the great Titch Freer. Now Titch is just uh, he did were uh, both a ball and Burns, the mortal memory and the um, address to the lassie as well. I chuckled all the way through it. It was off a fine to hear. He's just a he's just a natural musician and and songster. So, so sit back and relax, and I'll come back to you after the second half, into the first after the first half, when we start the second half. So make sure you get your drinks out charged, and I'm ready for the second half. So here we go, the great Dutch Freer. Thank you very much, Dutch. Fair enjoying this. Ladies and gentlemen, Dutch Freer, take it. Hello. I'm on the down eastern Alexa and I'm cruising through Block Island. I have charted the course for the vineyard, and tonight I am Nantucket bound. We took on diesel back in Montauk yesterday, and left this morning from the Bell in Gardner's Bay. Like all the locals here, I had to sell my home. Proud to leave, I worked my fingers to the bone So I could own my down Easter Alexa And I go where the ocean is deep There are giants out there in the canyon And a good skipper can't fall asleep I've got bills to pay and children who need clothes I know there's fish out there, but where God only knows They say these waters aren't what they used to be I've got people back on land who count on me So if you see my down Easter Alexa And you look with the rod and the Tell my wife I am trawling Atlantis I still have my hands on the wheel More and more miles from shore every year And they told me I can't sell the stripers There's no luck in sword fishing here I was a bayman like my father was before Can't make a living as a bayman anymore much future for a man who works the sea. There's no island left for islanders like me. Oh, oh, and I drive my down Easter of Exa more and more miles from shore every year. Since they told me I can't sell the stripers There's no luck in sword fishing here I was a bayman like my father was before Can't make a living as a bayman anymore There ain't no future for a man who works the sea there's no island left for islanders like me. Oh, 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 
Thank you. That was a song called The Down Easter Alexa, written by Billy Joel. Something with a little fishing kind of a theme to it. Um, as we are in uh, virtually in Port Soy, probably. <coughs> Except, of course, for all of you who are somewhere entirely different altogether. Um, so my name's Titch Freer, uh, and uh, I am getting the benefit of two guitars without actually having to lug them about the place, which is very nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, here's a song called uh, Orwell Parish. Um, Orwell Parish is the next parish up from here, um, dominated as it is by the lovely village of Milner Thought, hub of the universe. And this is uh, about, it's a, it's a love song with a happy ending, very unusual in Scottish folk music, we don't have too many of them in the Scottish tradition, well the love songs possibly do, but most songs people just die. <coughs> So this is called in Orwell Parish and uh, happy ending. Set other things you should know. There's a word in this called uh, it's uh, bodrons. Bodrons is nothing to do with Irish drums. Bodrons is an uh, old Scottish word for a pet cat. Uh, the Brunies referred to in the Loch Leven part of the song are of course the world famous world famous among anglers anyway, world famous brown trout in Loch Leven down there and um, Michael Segge is uh, a farm just north of Milnathorpe. <coughs> so here we go, sorry, <laughs> a bit honest coughing and, and snottering and stuff. As most of you are aware, like a lot of people like me, I haven't actually done anything like this for quite a long time, so it's... It's unusual. I've done a couple of Burns Suppers, but that's like two or three songs, you know. So five and five or six in a row is just... Ah! <clears throat> How well, we will bat on, and... Uh, I have no, nobody to talk to here either. I mean, usually I get, you know, you have an audience in front of you and you can talk to them. I know you're there. Don't panic. I know you're there. It's just not the same when you're not breathing on me. On the other hand, it's a lot safer when you're not breathing on me. Anyway, Orwell Parish. Mm, mm, mm. In all the east, these seven years, your guardian angel come back to you in shape of beast. If you would win the lassie's heart, listen close. 
Michael Love, stick what I say. Walk me three times, I'll unlock leaving just before the break of day. There we met, he danced till dawn She swore she would be his forever Till the dancing days were done Do this couple are together Handsome just as bow and bell In the ingle, smiling modern In the parish show of well ending. Isn't that lovely? No. A lovely thing. Is that, uh, last was it, when was it? Sunday night, whenever. Uh, I was watching a new series which has come onto TV which is called The Terror. Some of you may have seen it. Uh, it's about the disastrous failure of uh, Sir John Franklin's expedition to discover uh, the Northwest Passage around the north of Canada. Um, uh, like most Admiralty expeditions they went pretty well unprepared for what was going to face them um, the, these guys uh, who were officers in the Royal Navy uh, would never think of going on an expedition up the Hindu Kush or to Antarctica or anywhere like that without taking half the contents of Fortnum and Masons with them and uh, they took huge dining tables and candelabras and, and all sorts of cutlery, stuff that you're not going to need wandering about in the wildest of country in the world. Um, so off they go anyway with two ships, uh, the Terror and the Erebus, and uh, they're not long there and they get snowed in and as most of you are aware uh, the ships get caught in the pack ice <coughs> and they're kind of stranded so they're sitting thinking oh we'll just sit this out and wait till summer <laughs> this goes on for much longer than it really needs to uh, until eventually they decide they're going to go and walk and they, I, I don't want to spoil the programme for you when they get there but uh, anyway if you are wondering about London at any point, you will see in Hyde Park, there's a wee kind of thing on the fencing outside, and the wee bust of Sir John Franklin saying that uh, he's the man who discovered the North West Passage. And in Westminster Abbey itself, there is uh, another wee thing about Sir John Franklin, which says he discovered the North West Passage. He's actually would be much more famous as uh, the man who didn't discover the Northwest Passage and managed to kill most of his officers and crew, uh, if not all of them, uh, in the attempt. The first European to get uh, the idea of where the Northwest Passage actually was 
was uh, a man called John Ray, who worked for the Hudson's Bay Company, and he uh, was from Orkney, original, qualified doctor, uh, and he figured out that the Eskimo really had the best way of how to survive in that country, and he could speak Eskimo, and he was an absolute demon on snowshoes, and the Eskimos actually told him where the Northwest Passage was, so he was the first man to actually know where the Northwest Passage was, and it was a lot easier than the way they were looking for to find it. Eventually, it was uh, it was sailed through from actually from west to east by the first European, who was uh, Roald Amel Amundsen, the Norwegian explorer, who had uh, was also the first man to the South Pole. Um, <laughs> leaving a chap called Spot of the Antarctic, or Scott of the Antarctic. Spot of the Antarctic was, of course, his dog. And uh, uh, Amundsen got there first, and he also sailed. The, the Admiralty was getting a bit pissed off with Ad, Ad, Amundsen, to be absolutely honest. I imagine he's one of these guys who kept leaving wee notes saying, it's quite nice here, isn't it? All that. Anyway, this is uh, Stan Rogers, Northwest Passage. <clears throat> Westward from the Davis Straits, it was that was said to lie a sea route to the Orient for which so many died. Seeking gold and glory, leaving weathered broken bones, and the long forgotten lonely care of stone. Ah, for just one time, I would take the Northwest Passage to find the hand of Franklin. Reaching for the Beaufort Sea, tracing one worn line through a land so white and savage, and make a northwest passage to the sea. Three centuries thereafter, I take passage over land. In the footsteps of brave Kelsey, where a sea of flowers began. Watching cities rise before me, then behind me sink again. This tardiest explorer, driving hard across the plain. Ah, for just one time I would take the Northwest Passage to find the hand of Franklin reaching for the Beaufort Sea, tracing the one worn line through a land so white and savage and make a Northwest Passage. To the sea, and through the night behind the wheel, the mileage clicking west. I think upon Mackenzie, David Thompson, and the rest who cracked the mountain ramparts and did show a path for me. To race the roaring Fraser to the sea. Ah, for just one time, I would take the Northwest Passage to find the hand of Franklin reaching for the Beaufort Sea, tracing one worn line. Through a land so white and savage And make an 
northwest passage to the sea. Why then am I so different from the first men through this way? Like them I left a settled life, I threw it all away. To seek a northwest passage at the call of many men, to find there but the road back home again. Ah, for just one time, I would take the Northwest Passage to find the hand of Franklin reaching for the Beaufort Sea, tracing the one warm line through a land so white and savage and make a Northwest Passage to the sea. Stan Rogers, Northwest Passage there. No. Here's a, a song by uh, Michael Mara, the late lamented bard of Dundee. <coughs> um, Michael got inspiration for his songs from the weird, amazing, weird, wonderful places. And this is called the Guernsey Kitchen Porter. Uh, I think Michael spent some time working uh, in Jersey and Guernsey and he obviously met one of these guys and they're actually in the, the back kitchens of various large hotels in Guernsey, Jersey, in Jersey and Guernsey um, that are wee Scottish guys working as kitchen porter. Lots of them. I know this because I met the guy. <laughs> the guy that I met was actually in, in Jersey and there he was working away. I was playing uh, Jersey Folk Club, must have been at the time. Uh, and uh, there he was, he came in, he was staying with a girl who, who ran the thing. And uh, we got talking one night over a couple of beers and he, uh, he was saying, oh yeah, because the reason these guys pitch up in the Channel Islands, usually there are two main reasons. One is uh, that they, um, they've been having an affair with a gorgeous young girl, sometimes a bit too young, um, and she has become uh, with child. And in order to avoid her big brothers and her family, he has fled the scene and get uh, a job as the lowest of the low <laughs> in the hotel business, which is a KP, which is what a kitchen porter is usually referred to. Uh, and the other one, of course, is that they've been trying to make a bit of money um, and resulting in the selling of certain chemicals on the streets and falling out with our supplier. Uh, and it's been an awful lot easier to get out of the way rather than get your legs broken. So that's usually why. Uh, the guys do a, a flit from their various homes in Scotland. Um, so anyway, we got talking to this wee guy and, and he was a nice wee fella. He seemed harmless enough to me. And uh, he said a very strange thing. He said, we get quite a few folk singers staying here, you know. I said, oh yeah, I would imagine you do. He said, but you're the first human being. This is called the Guernsey Kitchen Porter. Kitchen porter, should it's a convenient place to be. Now, I don't mind the sweating and the screaming, 
Give me a limb, just seven foot by three. I have urgent business on the mainland. Sure, it's a convenient place to be. In the evening, when my shift is over. Go around the eucalyptus tree. It may not be the stairway up to heaven, but it sure is a convenient place to be. Do not bid me fare thee well, St. Peter. Do not give me sunny and sherry. I have urgent business on the mainland. This sure is a convenient place to be. Oh, may I smell the eucalyptus. Keep those grasping hands across the sea. But I don't wish to face the inconvenient When I urges business catches up with me This sure is a convenient place to be There we have it, the Guernsey kitchen porter. And I'll finish it off with another love song which I writ for the woman who is uh, my wife. We've been together a very long time now. Um, locked together for the last year 24-7. How I'm still alive, I have no idea. Thank you for listening in, uh, and it's been uh, it's been uh, a kind of nerve-wracking thing. Although I'm just in a room by myself, and because, as I say, I haven't done this for some considerable time. And so I hope you've enjoyed these few wee songs, anyway. And uh, hopefully, we'll get to see some of you. Uh, if we ever get out of this alive. This is called Belfast Lady.
Kuko. Well, hello to you all. I hope this finds you all safe and uh, well. Uh, this is just a, a, a wee reminder uh, about a date for your diary, which is June the 5th uh, on either the Facebook channel or the YouTube channel of uh, Folk at the Salmon Bothy. I'm going to be uh, talking about how I got started on my uh, folk music journey uh, way back in the 60s. Uh, I'll be singing some songs uh, from some of the uh, singers that I came across then, uh, talking about some of the, the clubs that I went to and just generally uh, trying to remember what I was getting up to in, in the 60s. So I hope you're going to come along and have a wee listen and have a wee watch. Uh, but in the meantime, here's a, a wee excerpt uh, for you from the, the show. I hope to see you all on June the 5th. His first album on the Electra label, entitled Just Hamish Imlach, had the two or four mentioned songs on it. But it was his live album that I was lucky enough to be present at the recording of. The year was February 1967, and it took place at the Paisley Folk Club in the Rockfield Hotel. I'm riding down the castle ray and I am a station hand I'm handy with a rope and pole I'm handy with a brand Oh, I can ride around a cold or swing an axe all day Station hands along the castle ray Saw it shift, boy shift There is in the slightest doubt It's time to make a move When the station's further out So I saddled up me pony And I whistled on me dog We made far up with the country At the old I went to Eel of Water where my brother has a farm. He has to ask his landlord's leave before he raised an arm. The landlord owns the countryside, man, woman, dog, and cat. They haven't the cheek to dare to speak without they touch their hat. So would shift, boy, shift. There isn't the slightest doubt. The little landlord, God, and I would soon. Had fallen out. Was I to tip me hat to him? Was I his bloody dog? So I made far up of the country at the old I answered the call for shear and once along the Martha gang. We shared on union here, says here I call that scab, says I. Well, I looked. Along the shear and shed before I turned to go There was four and twenty scabbies there a shearing in a row So it shift, boy, shift There isn't the slightest doubt It's time to make a move when the leprosy's about So I saddled up me pony and I whistled on me dog We made far up the country at the old Ride a rowdy cold or swing an axe all day But there's no demand for station hands along the castle ring So it shift, boy, shift There isn't the slightest doubt It's time that I was moving to the station further out So I saddled up me pony and I whistled on me dog We made far up the country at the old Hello folks, welcome back to the second half. 
I hope you're all suitably refreshed and had a dram or a cup of tea or a cracker and cheese or whatever. And um, you're still thinking about the, the great session we just got for Titch for you there. He's just, he's just an absolute star. And what a chuckle he causes. And he's fantastic. Anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did. So kickstart the second half. I'll give you a wee song myself. I've near long learned it. Um, it's all about uh, Jock and Kate. Well, back in the Fairman days. And they're curtain, you're getting ready to get married now, the rest of it, but Jock falls foul of the demon drink. So the story will tell the rest. So here we are. It's the great George Morris, old Meldrum's um, curtain in the stable. So here we go. Stand back and listen. Here's a wee song for you. It's for the great, the late great George Morris, old Meldrum. And it's called uh, Curtain in the Stable. But a great love affair. It ended up in a marriage, so. The night was fine, twas after nine, the moon by cloud was head and o. Then in the dark hour, moss and park, come Jock at Kitty's bed and o. Be seven Jock had supped his bros, and shift at Sklai's said cheery o. Pulled out his quits, his Sunday beats, and off to meet his deary o. Pulled out his quits, his Sunday beats, and off to meet his dearie o. Well, the road was long, but jockey song, O oh, Kate, is my chair, my row. At wits and tide she'll be my bride, and leave yon hungry fair marrow. She's me to thunk for in the bunk, twa hunner pound of lion o. <laughs> I'm ne so daft, I've teen a craft. Where fortunes will be trying, o. Oh. I'm ne so daft of Tina Croft, where fortunes will be trying, o. Oh. Sign passing through all Meldrum tune, run by the end, come Tommy, o. Oh. And Tom and Jock, at acht o'clock, sa doon to hear a drummy, o. Oh. And suck a time the plume and head, we ail and fusky cheery o they drunk a lot and jock forgot that he'd to meet his deary o they drunk a lot and jock forgot that he'd to meet his deary o well long they newsed and i they boozed till shut on time was chop at o and in a day's pure jock a raise and verra nearly drop a toe. But at length he wackled o'er the rigs, for weel he kent the stable o. For oft he'd wait for his dear kit, as sheen as she was able o. For oft he'd wait for his dear kit, as sheen as she was able o. Jock feeling queer, the fern drew near, and in the close he landed o, nae mean dead glint, and he was stint in the midden he got stranded o. Well he crack at spunk stiff in his wye, run by the bairies gable o. With sharney beats and dubby quits, at last he reached the stable o. With sharney beats and dubby quits, at last he reached the stable o. Jock stood and thought the fusky vrocht, the drink had fairly matched him o. A work and steer was standing near, and ruin its neck, Jock clutched it o. O Kate, my dear, you'll vow right here, there's neen but me, you'll marry o. But losh my do, you've turned a coo, your unca roch, and hairy o. But losh my do, you've turned a coo, Ya unca roch and hairy o. Sign in, come kitty, we a lacht, well, she lacht till she was greeting o. She thought her lad had good clean mud, she'd ne'er had sick a meeting o. The work and steer was standing near, and never gid a guller o. It must a thought, it had never vrocht, we sick an unca collar on. Kate glowered at Jock, Jock glowered at Kate, the stoat was fair, dumb foon or Jock slapped his thud, and we a thud, 
in the four star air he foon her to. And seeing the sport had been cut short, the Katie's kind compassion, oh, she never thought she'd see a stort dressed up in sack a fashion, oh. She never thought she'd see a stort dressed up in sack a fashion, oh. Kate put her air maroon jock's neck to the kitchen she did guide him, oh. His mood had pre with some strong tea, but never did she chide him, oh. But knew their giant, both man and wife, and long may they be able, O, oh, to laugh at fate, and ne'er forget their curtain in the stable, O, oh, to laugh at fate, and ne'er forget their curtain in the stable, O. Oh. No, I hope you enjoy that. I, I just love singing that song, and it's just, uh, it just takes a, Chuckle to my heart and fair enjoy. Never mind. Anyway, my next guest is going to be uh, Debbie Taylor, a great uh, exponent for our uh, salmon both and half. Where there's a mess where he made stuff and all about life experiences in the northeast and the Doric and that. So, anyway, we'll just find out far she's gone. Debbie Taylor. Hello, this is a song about the Highland clearances and the fact that. Um, a lot of Scots immigrated to Canada, to Nova Scotia in particular, and how they took our culture with us. Um, I was encouraged by my husband to write this just before we went to uh, Nova Scotia ourselves a year and a half ago. It's called Far You Gan. <laughs>
That's grand, Davy. Thank you muchly for that. No, we can't hear Simon Bothy without the great Graham Leg, Mr. Fat Van Dyke, and this particular song that he's going to sing and act. He's wearing his hat, so it'll uh, keep his head warm anyway. Let's call winds is blowing the news sometimes. So here's uh, Mr. Graham Leg, and he's going to sing us a, a wee sing along. So just sit back and enjoy. Graham Leg. Good evening. I've got the hat on tonight, just so she can hear it up. Who fancies a wee sing along? You'll ken this one, it's an old one, it's one I do a lot. Some people say a man, well, well, he's made out of money. All men's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood. Skin and bone. The mind is weak. The back is strong. You load sixteen times and a muddy bed. Another day older and deeper in bed. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Sun didn't shine. I picked up my shovel and I walked it out of mine. I loaded 16 tons. Number nine coat. Straw boss said, Well, bless my soul. You load 16 tons and what do you get? And on the day, cold around me from the dead. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. Raising the king, be quiet, oh mama lion, can the hot dog walk, make him walk no lion, you load sixteen times and what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt, say Peter, don't you call me, I can't go, I owe my soul to the company store. singing along there. Great stuff, Graham, as always. Keep up the good work with our, uh, with our next suit and other rest of it, and hopefully we'll all get a catchy up for a rich chin wag our long and a sing song our own about. So here we go. So next up, uh, spent a lot of time with John Dixon. Um, we've done a few things at Tarvis, him and myself, for some of the um, Sing around for some of the folk is Faye Bamf and McDuff and other rest of it. So but I love John singing this next song and it's called The Burkhead Sands. So here he goes. Song called The Burkhead Sands. Come again, come again, the Burkhead Man, and sail away the morning tide. Come again, come again, feel the wind and the rain, to the place where you always find. And you know when you stand on the birthday sun And the years be ten times ten Are you like me a slave to the ocean With till your back on the sea once again When the finish is done and the harvest will one The good your boat is done 
Many thanks, John. That is just excellent. Like Graham, I hope we're all going to catch up along and get a wee sing song and a dram together. So, anyway, I was looking through the archives a wee bit and found uh, Northern Shore at one of the boat festivals. Um, and it's a rare fine going song. And they're all up at the stage here together, the hell out of them, and they're swimming for their life. Northern Shore. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Thank you, Northern Shore. The great sound together, you look. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Anyway, uh, I've got Paul Radke on next. I met Paul a few times lately. We've been at um, White Hills. I met him, I think, first, and then uh, Stonehaven, and of course, we're we're in Sam and Bothy, and he's a, a rare mix of songs and art. So he's going to sing a song for us tonight, and it's called Rare Old Times. It's a song called The Rare Old Times. It's about a man who goes back to his city after being away many years, and it's all changed. It's a song called The, the Rare Old Times. Raised in songs and stories Heroes of renown the passing tales and glories that once was Dublin town, hallowed halls and houses, the haunting children's rights that once was Dublin city in the rare old times. Ring a ring. As the lights decline, I remember Dublin City in the real time. My name is Sean Dempsey, Dublin as could be, born hard and late in Pimlico. The house that ceased to be. My trade, I was a cooper, lost out to redundancy. Like my house that fell to progress, my trade's a memory. Ring a ring. As the light declined, I remember Dublin City in the real times. I courted Peggy Digman, pretty as you please, a roving child of Mary from the rebel liberty. I lost her to a student chap with skin as black as coal When he took her off to Birmingham, she took away my soul the Bring a ring of roses, has a light deep light, I remember Drink has them, my brain has Dublin keeps on changing, and nothing seems the same. The pillar and the beds have gone, the royal sense pulled down, as the grey and yielding concrete makes a city of vital. Ring a ring of roses As the lights decline I remember Dublin City In the rare old times Farewell, Annie Lithy I can no longer stay and watch the new blast cages bring up along the key. My mind's too full of memories, too old to hear new chimes. I'm far of what was Dublin in the real old times. Ring a ring. 
has a lady climb. I remember Dublin City and the railroad train. Ring a ring, roses. Has a lady climb. I remember Dublin City. Thank you, Paul. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care of yourself, Loon. And next up, I uh, found a wee recording for Elsa McTaggart and Gary Lister. Uh, great Elsa. Had great times and fun with them when they come down to the Boat Festival for the Isla Lewis. Um, so they're going to um, do a wee lullaby for us, and it's got Ellie's Lilla's Lullaby. Hello there, folks, at the Salmon Buffy. Elsa here. Gary here. On the Isle of Lewis, in the end room, with a green screen that we haven't got the hang of yet, but no. we've decided that we really quite like green, so we're just working away with it. I hope it doesn't... You do, but grass is good for the eye. Yes. Good natural colour. Just think you're looking at spring grass, with the sun shining through it. <laughs> right, um, we have a tune for you. I've been writing a new album um, this summer. It's all kind of come about through lockdown, and one of the tunes I was asked to write was a lullaby. It's called Ellie Lilla's Lullaby. It's rather nice and it's kind of, um, the, the theme behind it is a mother or a close relative with their newborn baby sitting in the rocking chair by the fire and they're just kind of crooning this wee lilting tune to it as they rock it to sleep. Rock it to sleep, it sounds unsleepy doesn't it? <laughs> seems a bit weird you over there and us over here but I hope you enjoyed that thank you very much and bye until the next one thank you Elsa and Gary take care of yourselves and I hope you're fine out in the wilds of the, the Hebrides there um, it's I fine to see you online with your tune a day and, and all your wee concerts and all the rest of it it's been fine keeping in touch with you that way so but anyway we'll finish off for the evening 
we um, Iona Fife. Now Iona has been a great exponent lately, promoting our northeast to our Doric, getting getting all the um, our song Scottish songs onto Spotify and that. So I'll get her finish off the set. We are um, Taka Dram. So as a pertinent song for Iona Fife. Take care, Abdi, and we'll see you at the next summit, both of you. Cheerio, just new for the world alone. Bye bye. This song's a parting song, usually sung at the end of the night. It's called Taka Dram Afore You Go, and it was written by Ian Sinclair. There's a lovely chorus that you can all join in with, and it goes Say button up, and I be cheery, Taka Dram Afore You Go. So make sure you have a wee nip of whiskey or gin or whatever you're drinking, and sing along with this. Mm-hmm. Oh, this evening's passed so quickly And the music's almost done We've had the piper and the fiddler The singer and the song The time has come for us to leave you one last song before we go Say button up and I be cheery Take a drama for you go Say button up and I be cheery Take a drama for you go Oh, this evening's passed so quickly and the music's been just fine But the cold grey land, no caithness Can be cruel and unkind We must bid farewell and leave you To revel through the ice and snow Say button up and I be cheery Take a drama for you go. Say button up and I be cheery. Take a drama for you go. So good night and God be with you and watch over you until we can all be here together. And our glasses we'll fill We'll drink our health, tea, apps and friends Let the beer and whiskey flow Say button up and I be cheery Take a drama for you go Say button up and I be cheery Take a drama for you.